everyone, it's Siobhan here. Today I'm going to try and copy another of the Anne Neville hairstyles from The White Queen. I'll have a picture of the original in the underbar below so you can see what it was that I was trying to emulate. Um, it's pretty easy to do. All you're going to need are a few hair elastics, some bobby pins, um, a hairbrush, a comb, and maybe some hair pomade. Um, other than that, I hope you guys like the video. I'm starting with the center part, and I'm just going to grab small pieces of hair from either side of my head and I'm going to rope braid these. I have layers so I'm going to add some pomade to the very ends to try and keep them together so that they don't stick out as much. I get the braid shred and for this you kind of don't want too much of that because um, then it starts to look a little sloppy. You're going to make two more sections. So I'm just going to grab this hair out of my way because I don't want it to get tangled with the next sections I'm going to make. I'm just going to clip it out of my way for a minute. And I'm going to grab pieces of hair that are behind my ear, like that much hair. And I'm going to do that on either side and then I'll ponytail the rest of it just to keep it out of my way. In the next step with the two pieces of hair from behind your ear, you're going to create a five strand braid. And actually, the pattern for this braid is really easy to remember. It's just learning how to hold the strands and keep track of them. But once you figure that out, the rest of it's a cinch. So I'm going to do this. I am going to section two small pieces of hair from either of these and make the third strand. And then with these outside strands, I'm going to divide them into two, thus creating my five strands. So starting from my right to my left, I'm going to name the strands 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Strand 1 will go over 2 and under 3. So now strand 1 will be sitting in strand 3's position. Now we're going to rename the strands from right to left. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 will go over 4 and under 3. So 5 will now be in strand 3's position. Now again, go back to the right, rename them. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1 will go over 2 and under 3. And 5 will go over 4 and under 3. So there you go, that's the beginning of the braid. Actually, the first few stitches are probably the hardest, but once you've got the pattern established, it pretty much falls into place itself. Um, and basically, you're just rotating the outside strands over and under. At any given moment during this braid, you'll probably have three strands of hair in one hand and two in the other. So here, I'm going to just one over two, and then under three, and now I've got the two strands in this hand and three in this hand. Five over four, and under three. You just continue this pattern until you've run out of hair, and when you're finished, just use a small elastic to tie off the braid. In the next step, you're just going to divide the rest of your loose hair into two even pieces and flip them over onto your shoulders for now. Draw these back and tie them in a knot above the braid and use a bobby pin. Carefully, I'm going to take the ends of the braids, of the rope braids, and tuck them sort of underneath my five strand. If your hair is longer than mine, or the ends of your braids are longer than mine, you can always take the elastics out and blend the rest of your hair with this hair here on the bottom. But because mine isn't, I'm just going to tie them together underneath my five strand braid to hide them. With what's left over these two pieces of hair, I'm going to create two loose rope braids. And you want to kind of draw the hair to the back of your head, not so, so that they go down the back and not over the shoulder. Last step is optional. You can either leave it like this, or you can do what I'm going to do, and that is tie the two rope braids together so that they'll kind of overlap the five strand braid. This is the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.